So if you're running Facebook ads, you typically wanna set up a few custom conversions to track things that are not inside Facebook standard conversion events. And before I jump into my screen and show you exactly how to do this, let me just quickly explain what is a custom conversion. My name is Lewis Mudrich and I run Facebook ads for a variety of different companies over the past few years, mostly in the B2B and software space and I have set up custom conversions dozens and dozens of times. Now back to my question, what is a custom conversion? A custom conversion is a specific event or URL you can track on your website that's not by default in Facebook standard events. So for example, if someone booked a call and you wanna track that as a custom conversion event and you wanna optimize your campaign for booked calls, you could absolutely do that. If you want to break it down, if you're an e-commerce store and you wanna set up a custom conversion for people who have ordered over $100 and you wanna optimize for those high order value customers, you can totally do that. So it's basically a way to get more granular with your optimizations. Maybe you wanna optimize for people visiting a certain product page on your e-commerce store. Maybe you want to track people opening up the request a demo form on your site and optimizing for that goal. You can do that as well. But enough about the theory and what it is. Let's just jump to my screen really quick and I'll show you exactly how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually head over to your Facebook ads account and then navigate over to events manager. So I'm in here right now and to get here all you have to do is click on this little business tools icon and then click on events manager. And by going to events manager that's pretty much going to future proof this video because Facebook changes up the UI every now and then and you can't access custom conversions from the menu. Just go to events manager and that's how you can build your custom conversion. So here we are inside of the events manager. What you're going to do is navigate over to the create button and it's going to give you a few options. We're just interested in right now create custom Custom conversion. So this is the little window they give you for creating a custom conversion and we can go ahead and name it. For me, what I typically like to track is something like booked calls. I want to optimize for booked calls. So what I have to do is go ahead and create a new custom conversion and I already have one called booked calls. So I'm just going to call this new booked calls and it's going to say anytime someone hits the after call. There we go. So this is going to happen anytime someone hits the thank you page after they've booked a call with me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna track it based on the URL. And when you wanna choose the standard event for optimization, um, you could just let Facebook pick for you, but I typically like to go for lead in this case because someone became a lead and they've, they've successfully booked a call. You can also go for view content if it's just like viewing a lead magnet and whatnot. So I'm gonna go for lead here. And there's a few different ways to do this. You can use the Facebook conversion event tool as well, but I like to keep things simple and just have it through this modal. And what I suggest is actually just going through your own funnel and making sure there's no error. So I'll actually go ahead and book a call with myself and get sent to the thank you page here. So you can see I hit a snack here because as I mentioned, I already have this as a custom conversion. So, but normally it would say like custom conversion created successfully. Let me just try to change it up so it actually goes through. There, I just added test to the end of the URL string and it should let me go through. There you go, you've created the custom conversion and it's tied to my company's pixel. So now I can optimize for this when I'm creating my campaigns. So the next thing you need to do is actually test that this custom conversion is tracking properly. And if you don't have your Facebook pixel installed for some reason, I actually did another video on that here and the editor will just go ahead and put that on the screen. So go ahead and check out that video if you don't know how to install your pixel, but I'm assuming you have it installed. So let's go ahead and debug it and make sure our custom conversion is firing successfully. So I went through the funnel again. I'm going to navigate back to the thank you page and with Facebook pixel helper, it's a free Chrome extension and it talks about it in the other video I mentioned. I'm going to go in and check to make sure that my custom conversion event, which you can see right here is actually firing, which it is here. It says booked call. So I know that data is being sent back to Facebook. And when I run ads for this campaign and someone converts, I know that the conversion will be counted and then I can optimize for those conversion events. Also, what I would like to do is check to make sure that my pixel ID matches my pixel ID in the ad account. A lot of times people mix up their pixel IDs, especially if you're working with different uh, companies, different ad accounts. So just double check that that works. And that's it. Also, if you're not seeing your custom conversion event show up, make sure to disable ad block because that sometimes causes issues when you're trying to debug it as well. And lastly, let's say that something's not working with the custom conversion and you need to visit or edit it. You can actually just click over here on the side where it says custom conversions and that will take you here. And as you can see in this new ad account, I don't really have many set up. So you can go in and set up your custom conversions as needed. And then you can check the status here to see if they're active. Um, you can also see when it was last received and so on and so forth. And this is a great way to also delete them too. You can expand it 
and then um, check out the different rules you have set up as well. And then you can manage all the other settings you have attached to it. Um, and if I want to delete the custom conversion, I can go and do that here. So that's it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. And if you want to see more content like this, please check out my channel and consider subscribing. Click the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video about advertising or business or conversion rate optimization. And leave a like if you really thought this was good content because it tells you algorithm to show this to more people. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.